Good Lord, you see what I see? Look at that huge gap at this front door. What do you suppose is missing? Of course, the threshold is missing and there's a door shoe that you could install on the bottom edge of the door shoe that slips on there. Now it looks, I wonder what's happening here. Oh, hey. Got a little visitor here. Now see, it looks like once upon a time they installed this floor tile and they removed the threshold for that. Not sure why they did that. It's a full size threshold. What you want to do when you go to the store, you want to look at your existing conditions and see what kind of threshold you need. I might even get a wood one or a, uh, an anodized bronze. Well, let's see. Let's see here. We'll take a look at this. See the hinges are gold and the doorknob is gold. Here we have a light fixture up here is bronze. But usually if the hinges are gold and the doorknob is gold, I'll use a gold threshold. I wouldn't want to use a silver silver one here. So take a look at that kind of stuff. If you've got any questions, you can take a couple pictures on your cell phone and take those to the store. You know what I mean? You do something like that. And the other thing you want to do is you want to measure this, the width of it. Don't just make the assumption that they all come 36 inches long. Because sometimes you, you can get thresholds that are 32 inches long. And if you're not paying attention, you might think, oh, what's the difference? You get a 32 inch, you come home, and it's a 36. Another thing you want to check out is the edge, the measurement of the door. You want to measure the thickness, okay? Because some thresholds are designed for inch and three-eighths doors, and some are designed for inch and three-quarter. So you want to measure that and kind of look at different things. And there's different shoes that you can put on the bottom of the door. Because this is an exterior door, you're going to probably want something with a drip edge, not with just a sweep or something. But again, go to the store, see what types of things they have. You have to remember what you have here at the front door. Take a picture of it, that way it's fresh in your mind. So when you get there, you think, my word, there's you know three or four different types of thresholds which one should I get okay but you're gonna put a threshold and here it's I would have to look at it to see what type if, it, if I need a notch in it or a high rise in the middle or flat whatever see there's different ones at the store let me tell you I don't have to keep repeating that do I <laughs> okay Let's see what else we can find at the other doors. Yep, son of a gun, same thing here. They just didn't have time to put the threshold in just yet. And I'm looking at the edge of the door. Now this particular door is an inch and three eighths thick door. So I'm gonna make a material list and write this type of stuff down. Now see here, the handle is silver aluminum color I look at the hinges that looks kind of silvery and it's painted white the trim is painted white out here so I think a silver one would be fine there and because it's going on the inside I'll probably end up getting a flat one but I'll show you when I get back what I get and see the other thing too is I've got to keep in mind see how they did this they ran the tile all the way out you know sometimes the threshold is there first and then you run the tile up to the threshold it just kind of depends here they decided to do this a little bit differently so I'm gonna to want to measure the width of the wall down here and see what type of threshold to get and I know that when I install that I'm probably gonna have to drill it and put plastic anchors down in there 
and get a roto hammer type drill now if I don't have I don't have a roto hammer type drill so I might have to think about doing something differently we'll see we'll see let's see what we have here sure enough there's no threshold and here's some floor tile that kind of went up to the edge they're missing a piece here too by the way I better tell the owner about that and see how that see how it notches down let's get you down in there see there's a notch there's a notch there so the floor levels right here but then it drops down to the bottom here and when I close the door the door goes all the way down to the bottom see it just barely covers so in reality man I'm not quite sure how to do that just yet I'm just gonna get a really small threshold and I think they have those at the store because see I don't need to go up on top here that's where the tile the tile needs to actually be finished up against that then the door fits right up against there and that's it because of the drop down level there okay well, I'm gonna have to remember that and again this is an inch and three eighths door and this one's gonna be silver again the little threshold hope they have one like that at the store I think they do and then with the door closing so tight down there see but there's still a gap there and I don't like to leave something like that I mean could you get away with with uh, doing something different there you know undercutting that put a shoe on the bottom of the door and have that rub on top of the concrete it's really not the best idea it's generally best to always have a threshold an aluminum threshold okay so we're gonna put the aluminum threshold there and obviously we're gonna have to do some measuring we're gonna have to cut the the bottom of the door off I don't like this thing here this looks pretty old this little cat door but the door still looks kind of solid you know this door is in need of replacing and once they do they could um, take whatever threshold whatever door shoe I put on here and then they can they can change it to the other door but for the time being there's bugs that get in here there's little lizards and stuff like that we want to make this right well that's all I have for this time this was just a short quick video on making sure you take your measurements for your thresholds and your door shoes okay so next time I'll show you how to install